drifting along Or you're sinking like a stone Carry on So making sense of feelings can be hard work for young children. Things that seem small to us are big to them. We often tell preschoolers to calm down, but we don't teach them how to do that. Our next guest believes mindfulness is a great way to start. Now, Jen Sievers joins us to tell us all about it. Good morning. Hi there. Hi. Now, Jen, first of all, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is a, it's a really useful tool, tool to help with um, anxiety and to promote a sense of well-being. It really, in, in simple terms, what it does is it helps our brain to not play worrying thoughts over and over all the time, to find a bit of clarity and to notice how we're feeling and to pause before reacting. And so normally you'd associate mindfulness with adults doing this, right? Yes. But you've done it for kids. Yes. Preschoolers. I think that we, people are starting to realise that the, the sooner children learn how to do this, it's, it's less of a retraining your brain and more of a starting on a good foot. Um, with other habits like um, eating healthily or being kind or brushing your teeth, you start them early on yeah. and that becomes an easier way to integrate them into your life. Well, as well, kids pick things up so quickly, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. their brains are wired for learning. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. And so you have um, written this book, Just Breathe. What made you decide to do the book? Um, I'm passionate about mindfulness. I, um, I've, I've seen how it, ex how it impacts my life on a daily basis. Um, I have a, a young child who's five who's quite um, energetic <laughs> and um, I've seen a need for how, how simple breathing exercises can really help her. Um, I'm an artist, I like telling stories so I figured I'll combine the two and, and teach children how to do this. Into this gorgeous book and, and how can the book help? Um, it's, it's actually quite an easy book to, to use for parents um, to just introduce the idea of mindfulness. I think um, when children when you've got a new idea to introduce to them, reading's a really good way to do it. Do it. They're open, they're receptive, they, they're interested in learning, it doesn't feel like learning. If you think of all the times that they see like a, a maths book or a colours book or, or a book teaching them their ABCs before they turn five, um, this is just another way of introducing a new concept sort of in a nice, easy way. Yeah, exactly. And, and I, love, I, I love the drawings actually, it's absolutely beautiful. So what sort of things can we encourage our kids to do? It's actually quite simple. The, the, the basics of it is just to get them to slow down and take a few deep breaths. I know for my own preschooler, and I'm sure a lot out there, um, slowing down can be tricky. So in, including a little bit of imagination really helps. So for example, instead of saying, take three deep breaths, say, now imagine you've got a really big dandelion and we're gonna take three deep breaths to blow all the seeds away. Oh, that's a nice creative way to do it, isn't mm. it? And what sort of um, response have you had from the children? Have you seen, you know, some great results through them using the book? I think a, a room from, full of children who've done a mindful activity is just, it's, it's amazing to see. They're instantly, just from a short activity, instantly calmer and more focused. But I think the main benefit comes down the line when they actually train their brains long term to react more calmly and to face life. The, the challenges that life gives them in an easier way. Well, we're all talking about being so much more stressed now. There's so much more that we're doing. We're always on devices, nothing mm. stops. So this is great for down, down the future past, you know, especially when they're doing exams and stuff as well, yeah? yeah for sure. Are you gonna do one for, for slightly older children? I've or? got a whole bunch of them lined up. I know you yeah. might do. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it something we should practice as a family mindfulness or do it in silo? What, what do you recommend? Absolutely, I think anything, anything you want your children to to do, modelling at first is key. Yeah. Um, it's quite easy to do the mindfulness activities with your children, so it's, it's a good time to spend time together and to both benefit from the activities. And we also, as parents, can sometimes try and learn from the, the effects of mindfulness. So if there's a stressful situation, if our, parent, our children are you know, getting on our nerves, take a deep breath, pause and react calmly. Love it. Great advice. Thanks so much, Jen. Thank you. Now, um, Jen's book, Just Breathe, is available on her website, jensievers.com.